everyone so welcome back to this week's video and this week um yes it's another speed paint but i'm actually not going to talk about this painting <laughs> i'm actually one just want to share my recent thoughts with you so okay a little bit just a little bit about this picture is um a watercolor pencil painting which um, I drew <coughs> I'm sorry okay um, I initially sketched it out on uh, normal normal uh, printer paper and then inked it um, onto a watercolor paper and my intention is to make it a really like cartoony fantasy like children's book kind of like painting and picture and uh, yeah, as I was um, drawing this picture, I kind of really like suddenly have the the keen like interest in like illustrating a children's book or a children's picture book. Yeah, so um, I'm now really really like hyped about this, <laughs> especially like after like finishing the picture and so anyway i was using derwent uh, watercolor pencils so uh, i don't want to talk about the pencils itself um yeah it's just watercolor pencils so yeah i i really suddenly have like the keen urge to get into the children's book uh, illustrator illustration career so yeah anyways <laughs> what I wanted to say is um, I am planning to um, sort of like prepare my portfolio um, so that when I apply to uh, uh, writers they can see my portfolio and uh, anyway I, I am intending to start as a freelance illustrator um, yeah so uh, I'm just going to like apply to freelance websites that kind of thing um, there are many like freelance not freelance I mean um, writers uh, who are looking for freelance illustrator because I think this I think looking for freelance illustrator somehow is a little bit, little bit cheaper compared to like going through uh, going through publishers and things because publishers they usually have a list of their um, uh, illustrators whom they mainly use and contact so yeah the price and the charges will definitely be higher compared to like freelance and especially for me um, as a like pure beginner um, to like illustration and I've never illustrated a children's book before um, just here and there some little cartoony paintings and drawings so <laughs> that's all I have so um, yeah so I want to really build up a portfolio to showcase my art and so far my paintings have been like quite a quite a variety of styles I have surrealism I have really cartoony I have um, like no like those it um, how would I say like Disney type of illustration like you have highlights you have shadows but um, it's, it's more on the like animated ah yes animated yes animated type um, so I really, I really want to build like a fixed style, like more like a really cartoony portfolio, um, just for like the children's book illustrations. Yeah. So for comics, some of you might ask or wonder why don't I like start my own comic or something like that. Um, I'm first first thing first I'm not good at storytelling and definitely not good at like script writing and that kind of thing 
so and what I really am passionate about is like the drawing part like I really like to draw and create like nice things on paper <laughs> yes so that's my little thought and I really really want to start um, preparing my official uh, portfolio so that I can showcase to clients and writers and <laughs> yeah I I hope I hope I can really start like children's for illustration I, I think it's, it's I think it's also a cool thing yeah so that's a little talk about my passion and my what I want to do next so coming future you might see a lot of digital speed paints from me um, because I am going to do all my portfolio uh, pictures in digital form so because um, I think I think I'm more comfortable with digital art for this kind of stuff for traditional I, I just like you know for fun and that kind of thing yeah because digital you can do a lot of things you can undo you can redo you can flat fill blah 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 yes so uh, anyways um okay just a I, I don't know whether, whether I have time I don't think I have time <laughs> okay anyways um this the the ghost spectacles I did some changes because I drew the eye quite like in proportionate uh, to one another so I changed um, I, like amended and changed it into a spectacles instead to, to cover up my mistake yep so this is the finished picture I hope you like it so thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and check out my links below so thanks for watching and see you in the next video